I am at number 22 Timber Top Drive in Vermont. It is the 23rd of March. We have attempted to clear the drain with a high pressure water jet. Uh, we had previously attended and found that there was quite a lot of tree root obstruction in the drain and uh, needed to return for some further drain cleaning. Uh, whilst we're cleaning out our sections of drain, we've actually discovered that there's more areas of the stormwater drain which have which are severely damaged and collapsed. Uh, so we've just put a stop to the clearing process at the moment. Now I've pushed the camera back upstream from the channel grate, back up to 5.19 metres, and it goes up from the right hand side of the house, along the rear of the house, and this is lo we've located this to be outside the kitchen window. Now what this is here, it's an old uh, grease trap for a kitchen sink. Uh, which is no longer in use, but the stormwater drain does run through it. Uh, what we can see is the other side there where you can see that uh, reddish colour pipe. That's where the terracotta earthenware drain is coming into the old grease trap and it's completely collapsed and broken. And as we keep probing through, we're just finding um, just more and more pieces. I'm just going to retrieve the camera head back and inspect this section of drain. Now there, there was a um, plant uh, located very close to this vicinity and as we can see here the tree roots have got grown into the drain but as we retrieve the camera head back we can actually see that the tree root intrusion is quite large in the diameter um, and it's quite severe going through all this section along the rear of the house That tree root there is about 40 to 50 mil thick, uh, so between one and a half to two inches thick. So that's quite large, that section of tree root. So as we pull out, this is just the channel drain. We've just inspected along the rear, and what I'll do, actually, I'll just walk across to the area that we've excavated. So just next to the plant there, and we'll just, I'll just show you uh, the, some of the pipe work. Now because we've also found this section of the rear to be collapsed, what we've found is the stormwater drain runs down along the left hand side uh, from the front left hand corner, picks up the down pipe at the rear left hand corner and then runs along the rear of the house and then it's collapsed. Um, now as we keep digging it back we just keep finding more and more sections are broken and damaged so we're not and we believe that the collapse section goes all the way back up to the downpipe uh, as we're only able to get about a, a metre down from that downpipe at the top there. We can uh, excavate and repair the drains. Uh, however, because the downpipe at the front middle is not uh, connected to anything as well, um, instead of connecting it back to the original drains at the front left-hand corner as we had quoted, uh, I would now reassess the situation and I would recommend to actually divert the downpipe at the front middle, front left hand corner and rear left hand corner into a suspended section of drain, uh, run it underneath the house and then what we do is come out here, out through the wall and then connect it back into the drains underneath the ground here or we can connect in through the downpipe here. Uh, but I also do recommend just to dig this area up. That way we can cut off the old line uh, with the, and cut out those big, large tree root obstructions as well. Uh, and that will be the best long-term solution for this drain. Uh, we'll just now reinspect this section that's going underneath the garage again uh, and just reassess the situation. 